Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be a week eight update of CRNA school. If you guys are interested, let's get into the nitty gritty. So as I mentioned in my previous video, I was preparing for redemption for my AMP test. Um, on my first one, I failed it. I got a 75. So I wanted to get, um, I was aiming for an 85 to be honest in order to um, kind of balance out the two scores at an 80 range because you need to be to pass and I was like just based on the first test and how hard it was I was just like you know what let me just aim for what I really need and move on hope hope for the best but you know understand that it was going to be tough so I had already explained to you how I was going to prepare for this next test for AMP and I am proud to announce that I did well I got a 90 on the test, so it's really like a 90.7, but like he's counting, right? So it puts me at an average of an 83 for the class. Um, I did look at the syllabus and there are a few assignments that are due for this class, so that gives me a little bit of room for improvement. Um, I did the math and I think I need 289s in order to get an A in the class. So that's really, really, really exciting because I was pretty down in the, you know, in the dirt about myself because I had all these goals in mind about doing well in CRNA school and I still want to do well. I just I've uh, kind of made some realistic expectations for myself, but I'm still gonna aim high. Um, I don't wanna be on the borderline. You know, I don't wanna risk getting a, a grade less than a B. So um, I think we're allowed to get one Z, only one in the program, but I'd rather not get it on my first semester, you know? Um, so I did get a 90 on my AMP test for this week. And I also had another midterm for this chem and physics class. Um, I got a 98 on that one. Um, it's pretty much just formulas and I really like that class because <laughs> it's like, um, I'm pretty good at math. So it's really nice a refresher in math anyway. But as far as updating you guys for midway through semester one, I am very overwhelmed. Um, bottom line, I've not stopped since day one pretty much. Um, I've taken a few moments for myself, but that's about it. And um, I have a test coming up on Tuesday. It's my second test for farm. I have a 94 on the from the first test, so I'm hoping to keep that range, but it looks like it's gonna be a really tough, tough endeavor to get in the A range for this test. Cause it's like all straight drugs and it's all memorization and it's so much going on. I've <laughs> recruited my poor sister to help me. She's a pharmacist. Shout out to Jade, love you. Um, so she's helping me get through, but I'm really, really overwhelmed. Like I'm having like flare-ups of stomach issues that I used to have from the past when my nerves get out of whack. So I'm a mess, but I'm trying to get through. Um, barely making it. <laughs> I'm barely making it. Um, you know, I have all these routines that I get done throughout the weekend, and I haven't done any of them because I've been so focused on studying. And then like, you know, just I don't know. Just there's not enough time in the day. Um, but that is it for week eight, doing well. So far I have uh, four A's and one B. That's not terrible, but I have a game plan in order to get better grades in the class that I'm not doing so well in, but I am doing well in all my other classes, which is amazing. And I'm feeling so much better about everything and about myself and you know, telling my, myself some positive affirmations because you know, I've mentioned before that I'm my own worst critic and I'm the one to give myself all the, you know, not, I don't know how to explain it, but I put a lot on myself that I don't need. Um, but I'm feeling better, I'm nervous as heck, but doing my best to get by. Um, this is gonna be a quick video, just a quick update. Um, so I can get back to studying and um, looking forward to posting next week. Not sure what the content's gonna be for that, but we'll see. I do have two tests coming up next week, two midterms. I have one for farm, which I already mentioned, and then I have another one for, uh, we have this anesthesia and equipment class that we have to pull out a component of the anesthesia machine from a hat and kind of just blah, 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 talk about that component in particular. And then we also have a presentation that we have to turn in. I already did it. I just have to put it on a, on a board and just submit it. So there's, you know, a lot going on for next week and I'm hoping to just get, you know, knock it out, get through it and then have the weekend to breathe because I'll only have pretty much only two lectures to go over since we just went through midterms It's like starting over again For the next round of tests um, But I feel like I want like a minute to like decompress 
and just, you know, regroup, recoup, all of the above. But I just, I'm hope, I'm like begging for next weekend already. I just want all my tests to be over with and move on. So yeah, that's it for this video. I feel like this is a much better update than week four. Um, getting into a groove, feeling better about, you know, taking five classes at a time and being a full-time student. Um, <clears throat> but you know, just trying to get through. Um, if you guys like more content like this, I'm gonna be posting along my journey of CRNA school. Um, my first, the first part of this program is all didactic and then the last half is gonna be clinical. So if you guys are ready to come along, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.